Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. So we have the T-square again, multiple T-squares, a tension between um, something to do with finance. We have two cradles though, which are very good. These are rescuing energies. They're the energies of the community and emotions in the community with bravery, Mercury direct, clear communication, Chiron and Aries overcoming fear or wounds of the self, improving self-esteem, Saturn retrograde, um, Saturn retrograde over here with Jupiter retrograding in Pisces, Neptune in Pisces retrograde as well. Um, so just to say like some of the tension coming from the Taurus energy, money related issues over to anger and aggression and then over to the collective could be regarding mental health. I hate to say it like that, but it's mental health issues because Jupiter expansion, expansion in Pisces, the 12th house of the psychological mind, the psyche. And then when you couple that with what Pisces is all about and what Neptune is all about. So Neptune rules over Pisces. Neptune is the planet associated with everything that is fantasy, um, mysterious, not real. And in order to do that, a lot of people escape. So it's about escaping. And when it's in retrograde, there could be some effects or harsh effects from that. Now, it could be drugs or alcohol, wanting to escape. It could be sleeping. It could just be anything where you're not wanting to um, deal with something. And Jupiter in retrograde, the expansive mind, so the psyche, mental health issues could be at play, addiction issues could be at play here, playing into what is going on um, in this whole scenario. And it's also affecting the collective through this energy. Um, the planet Neptune, like I said, is everything that's mysterious. It rules over Pisces. It's subdued. It's quiet. It has to do with um, things that are not real, like mermaids and fantasy. So it's like if you have Jupiter, which is the, the largest planet in the solar system, moving into this sign. So they say whatever it does is it expands what that sign's all about. So you have an expansion of this energy of, it can be based on fear, um, but it can also be related to anger in the home because, um, I'm sorry, love life in the home, uh, Venus in Cancer, and also aggression here, um, money issues are at the very top of this triangle in Taurus. So financial issues could be coming into this scenario. People don't want to deal with things, so then they start drinking, and then this has an effect on the psychological mind. But there are two cradles, rescuing. So other people in society uh, who are brave are um, coming to the rescue with these two cradles. So it can be many, many, many things. Anything where there's a falling apart, an avoidance of dealing with something up front, not handling something, avoiding dealing with something, um, then you have other people sort of picking up the slack in a way. All right. So let's see what we have here. Um, this bracelet is new. I made it. <laughs> and it says, um, all is well with my soul. And um, it's made from faceted moonstone. And um, two plated gold pieces here. So if you want to check that out, it's on my website. Okay, so uh, the chariot is on the bottom. Fast forward movement, determination, willpower. Spirits, what do we have here for Aries for today?
the Knight of Pentacles, Earth sign energy, it's slow moving energy, but it is an invitation or an offer. It could have to do with money, career, or finance. Wow. We got the sun. Happiness, joy, and great success. Very, very positive energy with the sun card. In the crossing, supporting energy. Something very positive coming in. Stable. So there was a nine of swords here influencing... There was something that was about worrisome thoughts, bothersome thoughts. It, that's that expansion of the psychological mind. Um, it can be Mars and Gemini, but it can also be the Jupiter and Pisces. It's air energy, but it has to do with what's going on in your mind or the mental state. Hangman in the recent past, having to surrender, wait, or give up control being in limbo. I have your energy now as High Priestess coming in. High Priestess energy. You're not showing how you feel. You could be trusting the universe. You could be turning to the occult or something about um, the spirit realm. Future energy here for Aries. What do we need to see? Three of Swords, heartbreak, pain, or there's some separation surrounding a situation that maybe is stagnant. It doesn't feel like it's changing. Um, but we do have your energy, Aries, as the Ace of Water. You are going to get some kind of new opportunity for love, peace, or happiness. So Ace of Cups is your energy. Okay, your environment has this great energy of justice coming forward. Fairness, equality, a wrong that's made right. Legal systems, contracts, things that are made fair. It's major arcana for fairness. Um, you are at a crossroads. You're at a point where you're considering going in a different direction or something is starting to, something will start to, to flourish and take off. And what is the outcome energy for Aries for this situation? What is the outcome here for Aries? What do they need to see? Wow, this is crazy. What has got you down uh, with the High Priestess? Following your intuition about a situation. We have the sun shining on a situation. There is something about an offer being made. 
you come up as an ace of water, a new opportunity be, to be happy, and then we get justice, fairness. It could be like you're going through a divorce, I mean, in some cases, and it's bittersweet. Final outcome here for Aries. This is unbelievable. I don't think I've ever had it go like this. Messages here for Aries. What do they need to see, Spirit and Angels? Messages for Aries as the outcome. What do they need to see? There it is. Okay. Maybe it needed a while to sort itself out or figure itself out. The Ten of Pentacles. Money, wealth, abundance, long-term commitments with people, financial security. Okay, so something here is about to clear up. There's a lot of mental activity surrounding a situation. What is the Three of Swords about? Why is this here? Why is the Three of Swords here for Aries? What does this mean? The Nine of Water. Okay, so some kind of wish coming true. A wish that is fulfilled. So I s clearly have switched decks because we get that Nine of Cups a lot. The Sun card is coming out. Positivity and optimism is going to win. The Nine of Cups here. Wishes coming true. Wishes fulfilled. Emotional contentment. Something is going to improve in a big way. High priestess energy is what you're gonna is gonna be in your awareness. That's someone who's very aloof. Um, they are concealing or just not wearing their heart on their sleeve. It can be secretive. It's a very spiritual person. Pisces energy. What is the Ace of Water for Aries? What is the Ace of Water here? Come here, please. Mao. Two of Pentacles. I know you want me downstairs, but can you come upstairs, please? Yes. Good grief. The animals. Animals that talk to you. I love you. <laughs> okay, Two of Pentacles is the Ace of Cups. You're trying to manage and maintain balance in a situation, but something fresh and new is being given to you. The universe is responding to your prayers because Nine of Swords is like you're in bed, just so stressed. What is Nine of Swords? Ten of Pentacles is the outcome. Financial security. So I've got the Four of Pentacles. Some of you are concerned about finances or concerned about money. Um, you could be saving. And it could be worrying you. Um, we did get a Six of Wands here. We have a victory coming in. Okay, so what is this High Priestess energy? So these energies are really, really good. It shows you trying to maintain balance in possibly some kind of situation where there's fear. What is the high priestess? What is the high priestess here for Aries? What do they need to see? Okay, the High Priestess is a Six of Pentacles. Trusting your intuition. There's somebody here who's being very generous to you, charitable. 
financial balance is coming into a situation. That flipped out with the Ten of Water and the Eight of Wands, getting a lot of information very quickly. Ten of Cups is the ultimate in emotional fulfillment. So you're going to get some kind of news. Eight of Wands is Mercury, the planet Mercury, when it is in Sagittarius. So you're going to get some information, some education, something that's going to inform you of something that is very positive. You have a nine of water coming in with that. What is this nine of water? What is the wish coming true? What is this nine of water? 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 He's going to start up again. He just wants me to go downstairs for any of you that are worried. He just wants me downstairs having breakfast with him. Okay, Nine of Water It's not wanting to tell me here. We have a Ten of Cups. We have Justice coming into your environment. We have your energy Aries as the Ace of Water with a Two of Pentacles. So you're ready for a new beginning. You are maintaining balance in a situation, a balanced perspective. Justice comes in to bring in equality, fairness, equity. Ten of Pentacles is here. What is this Nine of Cups? What is this Nine of Cups? Okay, it's something you've been striving for with the Nine of Wands. It's something you've been working for or working towards. Underlying the energy was a Nine of Air. So it's almost like you've been working really hard, striving, working and saving and being very uh you know four of pentacles with nine of swords it's like you're worried about you know the future of your financial situation perhaps or you could just be being very frugal this six of wands is your reputation like you have a good reputation um you're seen in a very positive light what you'll be made aware of is possibly something here that is a secret or held withheld information about information that comes in that is very happy for you ten of pentacles money in abundance so that's why the sun is in the crossing you're gonna find all this out in the future it may not resonate now but it's coming in we have a king of wands here and a queen so we have a partnership and a queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And we have the chariot, fast forward movement, momentum, four of swords, two of water, six of cups, four of cups, okay. So 10 of pentacles as the outcome. Clarify this 10 of pentacles. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. The, we have a ten of cups a ten of pentacles information coming in really qu quickly the sun something coming to light um, we have financial 
abundance, a new opportunity to be happy, but you have to maintain balance. What is the Ten of Pentacles here? Spirit and Angels, what do we have for the Ten of Pentacles? There we go. The Seven of Cups. Okay, a situation that is confusing. There's lots of choices. Lots of emotions that are in different places. You've been avoiding some kind of conflict. Three of Wands and Five of Wands. You've been fo very focused on yourself and your future. And not getting involved in something. Maybe with a family. A Hierophant. Could be a marriage. The Lovers. Seven of Air. Four of Cups. You may have been dealing with some deception or lies from a person. Unfortunately. And it might not be outright lies. It's like hiding information. Which is still sort of the same. So let's see. Let's get one of these angel answers for you today. For Aries, what do we need to see? This is a long reading. I've had a lot of... Okay, let's try and get an angel answers. The outcome looks really good. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You get some information. Um, you are going to be satisfied here, but it's almost like... It was a long haul, or there was something that was like a long haul. There is victory energy surrounding this situation. Ace of Water is your new potential. Justice in the environment. Justice is all, almost always a good card. It's never really bad unless it's, you know, it's always about balancing out a situation, making it fair. Spirit, what are the messages here for Aries? Messages here for Aries. For the day? You're ready. You're ready for abundance. You're ready for more. Uh, you're definitely ready. You've been through a lot here with the Nine of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. You've been stressing out and um, you're ready for whatever this very positive blessing is, um, opportunity, ace of water, new beginning. You're ready for it. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. This is your daily read. Thank you so much for tuning in and take care.